The biggest challenge is that we're a 109-year-old company and you know we've had IT in place in the company for probably close to 50 years, right? And um, or maybe even more. And and one of the challenges that you get is that you know the company evolved as discrete sort of units, so manufacturing and PD and um, parts. You know they all evolved as separate business units. When we started this out, we had about uh, I think we looked at we had 22,000 different reports around the world. Uh, we had anywhere from two and a half to three thousand under desks access personal reporting systems. Uh, so in theory, you could say maybe we had thirty thousand versions of the truth, uh, and we took thirty thousand versions of the truth and brought it down to one version of the truth. I think people are often intimidated by data, though, um, and the reason that they're intimidated by data is that you know unless you have at a much more senior executive level that stewardship and that sponsorship that says hey you know we need to connect all these dots and really become an analytical enterprise right and that's really where I think IT can play a much broader role is because we know all these people that you know um, have the data and we know what they're trying to do with the data so by connecting all the dots together and helping facilitate that enterprise collaboration first I think it's resistance then it's denial then it's acceptance uh, and then it's drive uh, and we went through all those phases I think it's like levels of you know of of maturity right so you know if you don't have food and water you ask for food and water but you know once you get food and water you're asking for you know a gourmet dinner pretty soon first was resistance because they've done it a certain way their own way they thought they were masters of their own domain uh, then we got into the denial that what they did was actually good but what we have is a little better uh, then they got into the full acceptance phase of it that give me more, let me try more, let me do more. I'm actually in control of what I do and how I do it. And now it's at the point of I want more, you don't have enough of this, now go find it and give it to me. I think it's the same thing with analytics. You know, we embarked on a lot of analytical projects over the last few years that were just, you know, getting people basic clean information about their business. And so then when you get there to that point, then they're like, oh, can I have like something on my iPad where I can do like what if analyses so I can make, you know, um, an offer to a fleet customer on the fly. It was a game changer for McCain because McCain never thought or people never thought about how do you leverage data and what does it mean to have all your data in one location to be able to uh, cross-pollinate and cross-analyze different things or variables that impact one thing that you're physically doing. They didn't have any concept. It's, it's not just Teradata, it's uh, it's what people do with Teradata. It's the keep. Again, I keep using the term possibilities, but it it is the possibilities of what Teradata can bring. Data is the backbone of the quality of Ford products. Without you know data, without analytics on top of the data, we would not be able to manage our quality. It is it is the key asset in terms of managing that.